This is a resection of a thigh mass in a 26-year-old female. At low power, you can see we have a large mass that is steeped to the subcutaneous fat. And then if we look closer here, it is at least focally involving the underlying fascia. The lesion itself is composed of discohesive nests of large epithelioid to rhabdoid cells with eosinophilic granular cytoplasm. The nuclei are round to oval, and some have irregular membranes or grooves, like these here. Nucleoli are also easily identified, and some are even cherry red. There are also scattered cells with nuclear hyperchromasia and multinucleation. For instance, this multinucleated cell here, and this hyperchromatic cell here. Lastly, there are also numerous capillaries between these nests. Some are small and slit-like, like these here, while some are larger and dilated. This is an example of alveolar soft part sarcoma, which is a high-grade translocation-associated sarcoma that most commonly arises in the proximal lower extremity of young female patients. Histologic features of this tumor include discohesive nests of epithelioid to rhabdoid cells with abundant dense pink cytoplasm containing PAS-positive diastase-resistant granules. Alveolar soft part sarcoma has a characteristic unbalanced translocation involving chromosomes X and 17, resulting in a fusion between the genes ASPL and TFE3. Due to this fusion, cells have diffuse nuclear positivity for TFE3. Most cases are also positive for cathepsin K. However, this is not entirely specific and can be seen in granular cell tumor as well as picomas with TFE3 gene rearrangements. About half the cases are vocally positive for Desmond, which is a potential pitfall the skeletal muscle neoplasm, or picoma, is in the differential. Fortunately, these tumors are negative for melanocytic and neural markers, such as S100, SOX10, MART1 or melan A, and HMB45, which excludes potential histologic mimics such as clear cell sarcoma, melanoma, granular cell tumor, and picoma. And that's all I have for now. Please like and subscribe, and for more educational pathology content, check out my Mega Index using the QR code or link in the description. Thanks for watching!